Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Oh, that's right. I'm back. Welcome back to Dead Breaking. We're going to do a review of Molnir today. Let's get to it. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to Mike's channel. Let's go. Hammer of the Gods. We have the Lego Infinity Saga Thor's Hammer in the 18 plus line set 76209 with 979 pieces. This bad boy is going to set you back $100 in earth money. I think they did a wonderful job with the box art. Got lightning coursing through Molnir. Very accurate. Here you can see the back side of the box in the bottom left. They have my Molnir resting in the dirt. Nobody can pick it up because they're not worthy. Then they got some dimensions if you're really interested. And a couple pictures. A sneak peek of the inside. And minifigure version of me. Very cute. Now let's take a look at this baby. So we'll start off with yours truly. We got Thor and Lego form. Very detailed chest plating. No printing on the legs. And of course I got my Molnir in my hand. Got my lightning face over here. And here we have my Hey Jane. It's been a while. How you doing face? And the cape is your typical fabric cape. And I do have a good amount of detail on the backside as well. They got me rocking that OG hairpiece too. There are a few extras that come with this set. And a little history lesson for you. We have the Tesseract on the right. That is the blue cube. We have Thanos' gauntlet in the middle. He is no longer. And to the left, Lego has that listed as Odin's fire, but it's actually the eternal flame. You're welcome. Now we'll take a look at the rock stand that Monia rests on. Very detailed. Lots of cool little pieces. Very cool building experience. And the one thing about it is it looks like Jotunheim with all that ice. You can see it has the Lego Infinity Saga Monia plaque, of course. And another angle for your eyes. Odin's beard, that is a good looking hammer. Those Lego dwarves know how to make a hammer. One thing I like about the Lego is the smoothness they did a really good job using the curved pieces for my handle they even have a little rubber piece down at the end for me to swing it and they use a lot of flat pieces to make it nice and smooth each side is the same and each end is the same here's a good look at the end where I smite my foes here's a good look at the top of my hammer here's another angle of the handle here you can see that if you take off these two pieces you can see the inside of Monia and on either side there are some studs down in there for you to fit these three bad boys. And there you have it. They sit down in there and you can cover them back up if you wish. Overall, I think they did a really good looking job. You can see how Monia will rest on the rock of Jotunheim. Love that plaque. And I think the little extras of the Eternal Flame, the Gauntlet, and the Tesseract are a good addition to the set as well as myself. Like I said, this set will set you back 100 bucks, but it is well worth it. And there you have it. My review of Thor's Hammer. This set is going to kill it after it retires. This is a must for any adult Lego lover or a fall. Thanks again for watching Thor with Dead Breaking. I'm out. Hammer drop.